It's the power to arouse curiosity. It's, 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 it's the power to arouse Welcome curiosity. to Tinkernut.com's video tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to convert YouTube videos to DVD. This project is free to do, the difficulty is medium, and the purpose is to show you how you can put YouTube videos on DVD so that you can play them on your television. Now this project requires two pieces of Windows only software. If you're using a different operating system, please refer to the notes on Tinkernut.com. The first software found on the URL listed there is called iPod Video Converter. The second piece of software is called DVD Flick, found at DVDFlick.net. Both these software programs are, are free to download and install, so go ahead and install those. And then, after you have them installed, what you want to do is create a new folder on your desktop for the video files. So just call it Videos. Then open up the iPod Video Converter and find where it says Output Path. And for the Output Path, you want to set that to the Videos folder that you just created and click OK. So we're not going to use this program for now, so go ahead and minimize it and then open up either Internet Explorer or uh, whatever web browser you're using and direct it to www.youtube.com and once you're at YouTube you can either search for or select any of the videos that you want to put on a DVD for this tutorial I'm gonna search for my own this is one of the videos that I created earlier so I'm gonna select it and on the right hand side where it says URL I'm going to highlight that entire thing and either hit control C or right click on it and select copy and then I'm going to go down to my taskbar and bring back up the iPod video converter click on the YouTube icon and where it says URL I'm either going to hit control V or right click on it and select paste to paste the URL and then for the file name you can enter whatever you want just make sure that you leave the .flv extension at the end and then click add video and then repeat this process for however many videos that you want to put on the DVD um, for this example I'm just gonna do a second one and call it Tinkernut 2 and then click add video so I've got two different videos here and you can see at the bottom here you have another output path option so for the output path again select the videos folder that you created and make sure the automatically convert to iPod video is checked then click download now so now I'm gonna fast forward this process because it takes several minutes um, to do but whenever it's completely through it'll say 100% through um, so when it's through you can go ahead and exit out of this program and then if you look in your videos folder you'll see all two versions of the videos that you've uh, selected a .flv version and a .mp4 version for this project we're only going to be using the .mp4 versions so now what you want to do is open up the DVD flick program and once it loads uh, you can familiarize yourself with the user interface and then once you've done that go ahead and select project settings now um, what you want to do here is select what medium you're going to burn it to whether it's dual layer DVD, mini DVD, uh, CD um, or just a regular DVD I'm just going to use a regular DVD so I'll select that then click on the burning tab and if you want to create just an ISO image you can check that box or if you want to burn it directly to a DVD you can check the burn project to, to disk box um, and then for the label you can type in whatever you want I'm just gonna put Tinkernut vids and then to save space I'm just gonna click delete ISO image after burning if you want to create more than one DVD leave that box unchecked and then click accept and now what you want to do is add the videos um, so to add different videos click add title and, and navigate to the videos folder on your desktop and then select the first video that you want to put on there and it will add it to your project 
and then repeat that exact same process for all the different videos. So I'm going to go ahead and select my second one, and click open and add it to the project. Now you can also do different tweaks and settings by uh, clicking on any of those buttons. Um, and to the right here you can see how much more space you have left on your DVD. And then at the very bottom it shows you the folder that it's gonna uh, put all the information in if you decide to save an ISO image and then to the right hand side there it just tells you various information about all the videos and the disk size okay and once you've done all that you can click create DVD um, by this point you want to make sure that you already have a, a blank DVD or whatever you're gonna burn it to in the DVD drive and uh, and once it's loaded and you have all your videos ready you can go ahead and click yes and it will start the process now this process takes several minutes to complete because it's got to go through encoding all the videos and everything like that um, so it be prepared for it to take about 30 minutes I've fast forwarded here it says finished successfully so you can go ahead and close whenever it's finished and um, if you selected to burn it to a DVD that means you're through so uh, if it's still on your computer and you have a DVD and you have DVD playing software you can go ahead and try playing it on your computer to see if it works or you could just go ahead and put it in any DVD player and it should work